everyone, it's Mrs. Bethany here for another Little Bear Story Time with your little ones ages zero to three and their grown-ups to share some short stories and lap bounces and rhymes and movement activities so that your little ones can start some early learning and hear some words and get ready to be big, strong, healthy readers one day. We're gonna say hello with our little up-down song. So if your little one's on their lap, they can go up and down in your arms or if you're a, a little bit of a bigger kid and you wanna jump up and down, you can do that too. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, wiggle shoulders and say hello. And there's our sign language for hello. And our other sign that we're gonna learn today that's fun for our little ones to say things with their hands, maybe if they aren't, aren't saying words yet, we're gonna learn apple. It's like making a little C, a little hook with your fingers and sort of like you're twisting the stem by your cheek and that's apple because we're gonna read a story about some apples and pumpkins today. It's called Apples and Pumpkins by Ann Rockwell. Now that it's fall and we're starting to maybe go apple picking and see pumpkins in the pumpkin patch growing, this will be a fun story for us to read to get ready for fall and Halloween. When red and yellow leaves are on the trees, we go to the Comstock's farm to pick apples and pumpkins. Do you see them growing in the fields by the barn? Mr. Comstock gives us a bushel basket to put our apples in. Sometimes we get a little bag to go apple picking with, or if you want a lot of apples, you can fill up a whole bushel basket. Geese and chickens and a big fat turkey walk with us on our way to the orchard where the apples grow. Do you know which one is the turkey? It's that big bird with the gobble waddle there and his big tail feathers. And do turkeys say gobble, 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 gobble? My father picks apples, my mother does too, and I climb a little apple tree and pick the reddest apples of all. See, if you, if you go apple picking, look for some really, really bright red apples that look nice and juicy and sweet. Sometimes they'll even let you eat one while you're there when you're picking. When our basket is full of red and shiny apples, oh, look how pretty they are. And they're red and shiny, but they also have a little bit of green and yellow. Apples come in all sorts of shades of colors. Then we go to the field where the pumpkins grow. Do you know what color pumpkins are? Orange. I look and look until I find the best pumpkin of them all. My father cuts it from the vine. Pumpkins grow off of vines on the ground. And I carry it back to the car. And there's the turkey. And we wave bye-bye to the farm and at home, we carve jack-o'-lantern faces on our big orange pumpkins. We put a candle inside and we light it and now our pumpkin looks scary, but also funny too. And that's something you, you can do with grown-ups at home is cut a face into your pumpkin. You've got to take all the seeds and the guts out from inside and then you can even put a battery candle in there so you don't have to use any fire and it looks nice and spooky and cool in the dark. On Halloween night, we put our pumpkin on the doorstep and my mother gives away lots of our red shiny apples for trick or treat. While I go trick or treating, up and down our street and get some nice yummy candy. And that is the end of our story. That's a nice fall story. We clap at the end of our stories, yay! Let's do our clapping song too. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Hands are clapping, clap, clap, clap. Clap your hands, my darling. And fingers wiggle, fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Fingers are wiggling, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle your fingers, my darling. And our toes will tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Toes are tapping, tap, tap, tap. Tap your toes, my darling. And our eyes are gonna hide so we can play peekaboo. 
eyes are hiding peekaboo eyes are hiding peekaboo eyes are hiding peekaboo peekaboo my darling and let's clap one more time hands are clapping clap 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 hands are clapping clap 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 hands are clapping clap 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 your hands my darling hey good job friends well let's read a couple more pages in our story that we've been reading this season called what we like by Anne Rockwell let's see I think last time we read about some things that we like to wear this time we're gonna read about things that we like to do outside what are some things that you like to do outside Maybe you can go and do one of them today if it's a nice day in the winter we like to go sledding we like to make noise when we're in places like the library, we use an indoor voice, but when we're outside, we can make a little more noise. Or we jump in puddles when it's rainy weather. And again, when it's cold, we could ice skate. And when the weather is nice in the spring, we plant gardens, plant some seeds. We like to swing. Or we like to jump in the autumn leaves. That's this fall. We have lots of leaves that are going to be falling. We can make some piles and jump in the piles in our yard. And we like to climb trees. And in the summertime when it's hot, we like to drink out of the hose or maybe run through the hose water and the sprinklers and cool off. And those are some things that we like to do outside. Well, let's do another rhyme about a pumpkin since it's fall and we were talking about pumpkins and apples. So we're going to make some different shapes with our hands of things that we might have with pumpkins, a big fat pumpkin. Let's make like a sandwich with our two slices of bread. Here's some pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin head. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin cake. There's a big tall cake. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin shake. Can you shake fast? Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkins in the sky. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin I. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin hide. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin who? Pumpkin, pumpkin peekaboo. And there's a fun pumpkin song that we can do all this season as we get closer to Halloween in the fall. And we did some fun with our hands there. Now we're gonna roll our hands in some opposites too. So let's make some fists and little roll, roll, sugar babies. Roll, roll, sugar babies. Roll, roll, sugar babies. Push and pull and clap, clap, clap. Roll, roll, sugar babies. Roll, roll, sugar babies. Push and pull and clap, clap, clap. Roll real high and roll real low. Roll real fast and roll real slow. Roll, roll, sugar babies, roll, roll, sugar babies, push and pull and clap, clap, clap. Good job, friends. Well, let's look at our tree here that we have. It's a big, tall tree. And we have some apples that are growing on this tree in all sorts of different colors and flavors. Like we were talking about how apples, there are so many different types and we can pick red ones or yellow ones or green ones or some that are a mixture of all those colors. And let's count how many apples we have on the tree. One, two, three, four, five. So there was five little apples growing on the tree. And let's see if we can shake the tree hard and get some apples to eat. Yum, yum. Five little apples growing on the tree. Oh, those apples looked so good to me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. Shake the tree, pretend you're shaking the tree and see if you can get an apple to fall. And down came an apple. Oh, and we can eat it, yum, 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 yum. Mmm, was it good. Well, now we have four little apples on the tree. Four little apples, they look really yummy to me. Let's shake the tree as hard as we can. Shake it as hard as you could. And down comes another apple. Mm, and we can eat it up. Mm, so good. And now we have one apple of each color left. We have a red, a green, and a yellow apple. Three little apples way up high in the apple tree. Three little apples. They looked so yummy to me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. 
And down came an apple. Ooh, this time it was the yellow apple. Mm, 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 mm. Was it good? Two little apples way up in the tree. Two little apples that looked really yummy to me. I shook the tree as hard as I could. Shake, shake, shake. And down came an apple. Ooh, another red apple. Mm, I know those ones are good. Oh, but I want to try the green apple. One little apple up in the tree. One little apple that looks delicious to me. I will shake the tree, and I shook it as hard as I could. And down came the last apple. Mm, ooh, it was crunchy and sweet and kind of sour. Mm, was it good? Well, we aren't the only ones that like to eat apples and go to see the apples. There are also a lot of animals that like apples in the fall, and you may notice that there are a lot of bees that fly around when you're drinking your cider and eating your donuts in the fall because bees like sweet things and apples and cider are very sweet. So we have a little bee that's hiding somewhere in our apples in the tree too and we'll see if we can find little bee. What color apple do you think little bee might be hiding under? Oh, if you think red, we'll have to choose which one. Little bee, little bee, are you under this apple on the tree? Let's try this one. Nope, no little bee there. Little bee, little bee, are you under this apple on the tree? Let's try all the red apples. Maybe he's behind the one that's really high. Nope, no little bee. Little bee, little bee, are you hiding under this apple on the tree? Let's see. Nope, no little bee there. I guess he doesn't like red apples. Maybe because bumblebees are red or yellow and black. Maybe he likes the yellow apple. And instead of the red, little bee, little bee, are you hiding under the yellow apple on the tree? Nope, I guess not. Well, there's only one apple left. Little bee, little bee, are you hiding under the green apple on the tree? Let's see. <gasps> yes, there's little bee, buzz, buzz, buzzing busily by the tree. <laughs> okay, well, rem let's remember our sign that we learned today for apple friends. It's our little hook by our cheek. There's apple. And we're going to do our This is Big song before we finish up today. Let's do some opposites. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. And this is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. And this is no, no, no. Thanks for listening to our stories. And I hope you enjoyed our songs and activities today, friends. Let's say goodbye with our little bear going up and down again. Up, down, turn around, touch the sky and touch the ground. Pat your belly, blink your eyes, wave like this and say goodbye. And we'll see you next time for another story time. Have a fantastic week.